Yeah, you know, it's a uh, we're still in a, in a growing process, a developmental process, and which makes it really hard. Um, in, in some regards, um, you know, it, it was a. Uh, we were much more competitive this year than last. Uh, you know, we increased our schedule uh, with the addition of Harvard and UMass Amherst and, and uh, Monmouth. And um, so in some regards, you know, playing a tougher schedule, I uh, think we were more competitive in more games this year. But, um, you know, ultimately, um, the things that we lacked to get those, uh, those tough wins, and we had, I think, about five uh, one goal game, some maybe uh, you know late in the game chase and get you know two goal games, but um, in those close games we just lacked at times the discipline uh, to finish. Um, so it's kind of bittersweet, you know. You're happy that you're you're making some progress, but uh, felt like a lot of them got away this year. So um, that was the disappointing part of it. It's been really amazing, sort of seeing the program come. From, from nothing, just from not even existing all the way up through now being an established program, you know, being competitive in almost every game we play. Uh, I think my favorite, my favorite memory might be uh, our first win of the second year against Jacksonville. Uh, that was a really meaningful one for me. Uh, my favorite memory is probably my senior night, so a couple weeks ago. Um, I have a huge family and so like, all my aunts and uncles, my brothers were there. So we probably had about 80 people in the crowd that was just my family and they were all up in one side of the stands and like they filled that whole side and they were all like yelling my name the whole time and cheering so it was good, it was fun to hear that and see them all there. Yeah, no, they didn't hold back, they all made these shirts with like my name on it and uh, my little cousins designed it and my brother helped get all the shirts so it was good, yeah. The effort, um, just every day coming in with uh, the mindset of just putting 110% in, so uh, that's kind of what I, sh I would like them to take from, from us. You know, the biggest thing for me was always accountability. Uh, not just holding myself accountable for my actions and my behaviors, but also holding you know, my teammates accountable for them too. Um, I think if everybody can step up um, and, and hold each other accountable, I think things will be really, you know, this program can definitely go in the right direction. Um, I think it's tough too because we never really had the senior leadership that most you know, tenured programs have. Um, and we are you know, essentially the first graduating class. I mean we had Kyle Strong graduate last year and then now it's us four. So we were, we were the senior leaders on the team for the first time. Um, which is something that these guys were never used to. Um, but I think it, it, it worked out really well. Um, and I think we definitely started to build a culture that's, that's still being built right now. Um, I think it's going to take a couple of years to get there, but I think we've definitely started, uh, started off in the right direction. I definitely thank my coaches and, and uh, my teammates definitely the most. Uh, if it wasn't for you know, those guys every day, there's, you know, there's no way I'd get through all this. So it's definitely a personal thing for me that just the boys helping each other out all the time and just there for one another. So definitely a big thanks. Yeah, uh, you know, number one, I want to thank my mom. I mean, she's she's been my by my side since day one, and uh, I love her to death. <laughs> obviously, um, I want to thank my family, uh, my coaching staff here. You know, they talk about growing pains. You know, it's not easy starting starting a program at the Division One level, um, and it really takes a lot of work and a lot of grinding and a lot of blood, sweat, and tears. But you know, they're they've led this program uh, to a very elite level and I think it's only going to get better from here. Um, again, I want to thank my teammates, I want to thank the uh, academic advisors here, Christine, Lauren, Jess, Michael, they do such a wonderful job for us. Um, they're always very supportive of us in the classroom and on the field. Um, and you know, just, just everyone I met along the way, you know, uh, I really hope to stay in touch with a lot of these people. Um, there's just such nice people at the school. Just everyone is just so friendly. It, it just blows me away. Um, so, you know, that's that's my uh, little thanks that I'm going to be giving out. <laughs> yeah, um, you know, I, I just want to thank everybody here. You know, th there was a great staff here that always helped us out. Whether it was LT, who was our academic advisor, she helped me out tremendously. Uh, put my classes together and making sure I took all the classes to graduate on time. And when I was in grad school, what classes I needed to take when and where. 
So a huge thank you to her, um, Casey, even Carrie. Carrie left us last year, but Casey came in and took over, and she did an unbelievable job. Um, she really helped me out when I was hurt, and uh, you know everybody. You know there was a bunch of the media people and the staff upstairs. They all did a phenomenal job. The coaches. Um, you know, definitely want to thank the family members um, that came out and supported me, especially my mom, all those games, and uh, all the other coaches from the other school, I mean the other teams as well as my coaches, you know, they, they were a great group of people. Um, I got to know a lot of the baseball coaches and the soccer coaches, and they're just some really nice guys and down-to-earth people that are willing to help out whenever they can, and so that's definitely a big thanks to everybody here, the community and the teachers and everyone. You know, since since I was little playing out in Oregon, which is a non a non hotbed area where lacrosse isn't huge. You know, we don't have a lot of Division One lacrosse players coming out of the state. We do kind of now, but back when I was there, we really didn't. So it, it's been literally a dream come true for me playing Division One lacrosse and uh, you know just doing what felt so unattainable ten years ago. Really, you know, I wouldn't be anywhere if it weren't for my family and friends who supported me. You know, all the coaches I've had along the way. And of course, all the all the terrific people here at UMass Lowell through the athletic department and the academic departments, really supporting us and making everything possible for us to flourish as best we can has really been tremendous.